Hello, I'm very pleased to be here in Krakow, and it's very nice to see my book here in Polish, a uh, beautiful cover. And I'd like to just tell you a little bit about the book. Uh, the book is called Anxious, and it's about, of course, anxiety and fear, and how the brain makes these emotions in us. And for a long time, the idea of fear has, I think, been a little bit confused, fear and anxiety, in that we have thought of these as innate states of the brain that that um, humans have inherited from animals. But I think that that's absolutely incorrect, that these are human emotions that are constructed in our brains by cognitive processes that are unique to the human brain. Uh, what we've inherited from animals are survival circuits that keep the organism alive. For example, the ability of the brain to detect and respond to danger. But that's very different from the conscious experience of fear, which is the awareness that you are in danger or the awareness that you're anxious. So I think that it's important to make these distinctions because um, when we look at the way medications have been developed, they've been developed by studying behavioral responses. But if the behavioral responses and the conscious feelings are coming out of different systems, we need to understand those as being separate processes. For example, a medication that makes someone less timid and less hyper aroused physiologically is not necessarily going to make them feel less fearful or anxious. So we need to think of these as separate processes. We may be able to treat the timidity and the arousal with medication, but in order to change the experience of fear or anxiety, I think we need to have human to human interactions. But by changing the physiological and behavioral responses, that makes the, the brain more prepared to have psychotherapy at that point. So I think it's important that we keep these kinds of responses separate, the physiological and behavioral responses on the one hand, and the conscious experience of fear and anxiety on the other. I hope you enjoy the book, and um, send me an email if you like it.